Welcome. In the last video, we created an API that fetches all the employees with the same name. So let's see it's working one more time. Here in this API, I have passed the name as Tom. So if I click on send, I get two employee records. Now suppose I want to see the same results on my database viewer that is MongoDB Compass. If we were using an SQL database, then I would write an SQL statement like this. Select star from employee where name equals to Tom. But we are using a NoSQL database, hence we cannot use this query language. Instead, we can use MongoDB native queries. MongoDB native queries are also written in a JSON format. For example, the same query can be written as curly braces, name of the field that is name here, colon, and value you want to search, so here it will be Tom. Now I will click on find. Here also you can see we got two results. Now Spring Boot also provides the support to add these native queries. So let's see how we can do that. Here I will just copy this method and name it as find by name by query. And I will annotate it with MongoDB's query annotation. And here I will pass the native query which we just created in Compass. Now instead of hard coding Tom here, we will pass this first parameter of this method, which is this string name. And to pass that, we will add the question mark symbol, and add the first index here. Now I will just replace this method in employee service IMPL class. And here I made a mistake. Instead of question mark 1, it should be question mark 0, since index starts from 0, and we are using the first parameter. Now let's run the application. Let's again call this API. Here you can see we got the same result. And that is how you can use native queries of MongoDB with Spring Boot. When using native queries, we can also use operators to compare the values and provide the correct results. One such operator is the equality operator. To use that I will again copy this method and change the name. Now in our query annotation, I will remove the question mark 0 from here, and inside the curly braces, I will add, dollar symbol, aq which stands for equality, colon, and again the first parameters index, that is question mark 0. Now I will again replace this method here. And let's rerun the application. Let's call the API again. Here you can see we again got the same result. And that is how you can use native query operators. You can check out all available operators in MongoDB's official documentation. There are different types of operators for various types of comparisons. I will be covering each of them separately in later videos, but you can check them out yourself and try it on your own. You can click on any of them to read all the details about any specific operator. Here you can also find examples on how you can use it. Now let's see some more examples of operators. So we have three problem statements here. First we need to write a query to find a list of employees with a salary greater than some value. Then a list of employees with a salary less than some value. And last a list of employees with a salary in between two values. So first of all we will create a method definition, and I will name it as find employees greater than, and the parameter would be double salary. Again I will use the query annotation and the comparing key would be salary. Now if you go back to the documentation, you will find that we can use this GT operator for our query. So I will use it, and also pass the first index here. 
Now for our next problem statement, we can simply copy this query and rename it as find employees less than or you can take any name here because it is not a JPA query method. Now as per the documentation, we can use this LT operator for our query. So I will just replace this GT with this LT. Now let's move to our third problem statement. Again I will create a method and you can name it whatever you like. I am naming it as find employees between. Now here in the query annotation, we don't have any between operator provided by MongoDB. Instead we can use both of the above queries to get the desired result. For that, we can use this and operator. An AND operator accepts an array of conditions. So here I will write dollar n colon and inside the square brackets I will add my conditions. So first I will add this greater than condition. And then I will add this less than condition. Now we can actually further reduce this query, but for now I'm keeping it like this, and we can learn more about it in a later video. Now let's test these queries. For this I have created some empty test cases here, and inside these test cases we will be calling our native queries. First of all I will auto wire the employee repository here. So the first test case requires us to find the employees with salary greater than 40,000. So we will get our list of employees by calling employee repository dot find employees greater than and pass 40,000 here. Now I will simply call this print method which iterates over the list of employees and prints it on console. Similarly for our next test case we need to find employees with salary less than 80,000. So we can simply call our find employees less than method and pass 80,000 as argument. And again call the print employees method to print the output of this query. Now for our last test case we need to find employees with salary less than 80,000 and greater than 40,000. So we can call our last method find employees between and pass 40,000 and 80,000 as the arguments. Now before running the test cases, make sure you have added enough data in your database on which these queries can run. Now let's run the test cases. As you can see all of our test cases have successfully passed. If I check the first test case, then here we can see all the employees with salary greater than 40,000. If I check the second test case, then here we have all the employees with salary less than 80,000. And for our last test case, we have all the employees with salary between 40,000 and 80,000. With this we have covered a basic overview of native queries and operators. You can go through all the documentation and try to use the operators on your own. I will be covering all the operators later in this course. Till then subscribe to my channel and like this video and comment down if you have any doubt. Thank you for watching.